Since early June, a ghostly sound has drifted across San Francisco. And social media lit up with a range of reactions, calling it soothing, unsettling, even alien. But it's not supernatural. It's the city's most iconic landmark, the Golden Gate Bridge. The big factor in designing a bridge is, of course, wind. This, the Golden Gate, is a big cut in the landscape that acts as a wind tunnel. That means that the whole design of the bridge turns into one big sail when the wind is strong enough. And these, the original 1937 struts of the railing, catch the wind. It's the new, thinner version of those struts that are creating that noise. When you ask engineers why wind matters on a bridge, well, they always name the same one, the Tacoma Narrows Bridge. And the bridge whips about like some fluttering ribbon. It was nicknamed Gallop and Gertie for its tendency to move in the wind. And in 1940, against gusts of just 40 miles an hour, it began to twist, then the concrete buckled, and it collapsed. It literally shook itself to pieces. The consensus was that the solid side railings were responsible. Engineers everywhere are haunted by it. This wind retrofit project is to ensure that that type of effect or, or phenomenon doesn't happen here at the Golden Gate Bridge. The important thing is that scale model tests of earthquakes and high winds showed the bridge will be stronger than ever. But those tests didn't reveal the eerie sound it would make. Engineers here are working on a plan to quiet the hum. But in the meantime, the bridge harmonics are a reminder of the high stakes and complicated work of building and maintaining a roadway high above the waves. For today, Jake Ward, NBC News, San Francisco. Mm, by the That's way, really cool. Pretty cool, those new railings, by the way, on the Golden Gate Bridge can withstand winds of up to 100 miles an hour. Oh. I think it's very peaceful. Yes. Um, um.